All right, ladies and gentlemen, Baron here. So if you didn't see my video earlier today when I was driving around the mouse, first off, you're crazy. Second off, I am in fact back and I want to go to the southern spawn point. I don't know, I always just go for the hill. It is what it is. So we've got an APCR and then we've got armor piercing composite rounds and that should be adequate enough. Let's see what tier we're dealing with. But yeah, this was the most requested tank. KV-1's getting all up in my junk. We got T-34s. We've got pretty good mobility and speed. We're going the wrong way, so we're gonna do a hard turn. Dance with this Chaffee. But what I like about the Panzer 3M is that you've got this Schertzen around the turret and around the side of the tank, which is an extra five millimeters of armor, which is good if someone's firing heat rounds at you. Man, I don't. I actually don't know where I'm going right now. I'm drunk. But um, and I also like that it's got spaced armor. It's got extra armor in front of in the front area there, and it's got those extra tank tracks. So this thing is pretty beefy, all things considered. Now we went the long way, but we are a Panzer III. We're you know nice medium tank, rather mobile. Got a really really good 50 millimeter main gun. This thing has a battle rating of 3.7, and although it's at tier 3, it's kind of got a, a tier 2 battle rating um, on the higher side there. And I'm really just wandering around aimlessly. <laughs> the truth is, I haven't, I've, I've not played video games in two weeks. Um, for those of you who've been paying attention to my Instagram account, I was in Colombia. And I'm actually, the intention of it was to come up with videos for my adventure channel. Oh, we're gonna need uh, APCR around on that Sherman, so we're gonna load that up. But yeah, so I'm I'm gonna come up with videos for my adventure channel. Man, there's just nowhere even to hit this thing. So we'll call in artillery on him and flank around him. But yeah, Colombia was amazing. Colombia, South America. It was kind of funny, I told this girl, like, hey, I'm going to Columbia, you know, I'll be gone for two weeks. And she's like, oh, are you going to Columbia, New York, or Columbia, South Carolina? Because most people in the United States wouldn't think to visit Columbia. Because, you know, there's all the, oh, the drug wars, and, you know, all that kind of stuff. There's all this social stigma about how it's a dangerous place. But, um, you know, it really wasn't. I, I did not feel insecure or unsafe at all critical hit all right let's aim down a little more try to hit ammo no no ammo on this and there we go there's some gasoline that'll do it all right so now there's someone up here oh gosh wow wouldn't that have been bad if that was a player he would have just been able to eat me up so we're gonna be able to fire APCR literally anywhere so, why not do that? There we go. He doesn't see us. He's aiming somewhere else. Critical hit. We got a Stug. Our turret may be jammed right now. Ground unit destroyed on the Stug. Nice snapshot. Incoming artillery fire, but my turret is boned right now. I think it's... I think it's my, my crew. Let's check it out. Nope, it is in fact the turret ring, so we're going to call in artillery. I think that's an AI. This one is not, however. Tank will be repaired in a few seconds. Still using APCR. Whoa, don't you look at me. Jeez. Alright, so we got a Panzer III L. So we've got better armor than he does. We are the Panzer III M. Oh gosh. Just a huge flurry of AI tanks right now. Still firing APCR. We're gonna need to pull back because there's just so many freaking enemy tanks right here. Including these AI tanks, which will start de doing work on you. <laughs> Look at that blowing the turret off. I'm stuck on this rock right now. And the physics are still a little wonky, which is unfortunate. How'd that do? Maybe aim it a little down and try to... Oh, that's not good. 
calling artillery on all these guys. Because I think we're about to die. We do have backups, as per usual. Oh, my gun's just torched. Tank will be repaired in one second. Good, good, good. Well, let's try to just smash this KV-1. Did we do anything critical? We did not do anything critical. There we go. That's exactly what we like. So that's the beauty of this 50mm gun. Is it's just... It's got excellent, excellent penetration. Set him on fire and just leave him. He's an AI tank. We don't really want to spend too much time on him. We want to go for the player control tanks. We've... Ground unit destroyed. Look at that. Just right through. Hit, hit two crew members and knocked out the engine. And that was enough to knock him out. So we're on a really good spree right here. Three players. A number of AIs. Just racking up those lines. So we're just going to continue flanking in a completely overly aggressive way. And hopefully this Panzer IV doesn't wreck us. We're getting, we're catching on fire. Drop artillery. Okay, yeah, we're definitely going to get knocked out. But you know what? We Look at where we are. We've definitely held this flank. I'm going to call in a bomber. Oh, I didn't think I'd get the bomber in time. No, I did not get the bomber in time. Unfortunately. So I can't move my turret, but I can shoot at that guy. We're just absolutely boned. Somehow we're still alive. And we can still shoot. So might as well keep doing it until we're knocked out. I love that. Now can we pivot at all? We cannot move. Engines on fire. We're gonna J out. Momentarily. But we got some really good snapshots, honestly. Finally got taken out by Micker Factory. Right through the shirts in. Killed the last one of the second to last remaining crew members of our five crew tank. And you know what? It's time to get back in there. It's just, it was insane up there. How did we do? How are we doing relative to our teammates? First place. Standard. Standard operating procedure. We got a little, nice little flak truck here. And we're going to get back up on this hill. And do some work. KV-1 from the grave. Could call in artillery. Might as well. On everybody. That guy's still camping back there. They actually have two of the flag point C. I'm actually pleased with that right now because that means the battle is going to go a little longer and I can get more kills and who doesn't like getting more kills. But yeah, so the great thing about the Panzer 3M, which you guys requested, so obviously let me know what you'd like to see next, is the extra armor does a lot and the 50mm main gun is just fantastic. It's got a lot of hitting power, great penetration, and that usually is all you need. Ground unit destroyed. Oh! Who, who was that? Was that a bomb? Look at that! How did that happen? The game just ended right away. So, Panzer 3M, we'll go over the armor, we'll go over the difference. And I believe 11 ground units destroyed. One assist. So how many did we get? A lot of AIs. That's kind of cool. I actually like it um, when the AI waves just spawn at one point and then they just charge. Because when you get mixed up in that, it's really, really cool. We actually had one guy kill seven uh, player-controlled vehicles on the enemy team, which was the best. The Baz Raven. And I wonder if he used a bomber to do something. I tried to call him a bomber, but I, I missed it by like a second or two. But um, let's see. 46 hits and 11 kills. Just just absolutely raining down ammunition that round. But I had a lot of fun with the Panzer III. Yeah, so this is what I'm talking about. You got this uh, this little 20 millimeter plate here. You've got 15 millimeter tracks. And then you've got 5 millimeter shirts in around the turret and on the side of the tank. So it's rather a sturdy tank with relation to all the little extra bits of armor it has stacked onto it really increases the longevity and usefulness of a Panzer III up to tier 3 and this 50mm main gun with Panzer Granat 40s which are the APCR rounds you can do a fair amount of penetration 
Um, pretty cool. So let's check the internal components. Five member crew. It's got these small 50, 50 millimeter rounds all around there. And you know, instead of all over, like a lot of uh, German tanks have. So that's kind of nice in that it's going to be more difficult to be ammo racked. But I am a fan of this tank. So, ladies and gentlemen, let me know which vehicle you want me to drive out next. And I'll do it because that's how the series goes. So now that I'm back, to, back from Columbia, we are back to our regular scheduled programming. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you all for watching. Make sure to pull the trigger on the like button. And you know what? Share the video with a friend. And I'll see you soon.